Welcome to the Inbetune. We're going to grab this crest and... Ho I don't know. Hopefully. Don't hit that thing. Those Octomines. Okay, wait. Well, oh, shut. Hold up. What do you want? So, like, your hand claw can't touch this shit, but your chain can? Yeah, don't. Just don't. No, I'll logic this fucking shit out. <laughs> a salvage arm. Oh, God. Uh -oh. I am, too. I really am, but I really want that roops. Oh, no. Well, well, you got, you got two more, like, heart diamonds? Heart, heart diamonds? A diamond in the rough. <laughs> <laughs> Hey-ho? I don't know, man. Uh -oh. Are we in an in-between right now? <laughs> I mean, we are. Is anybody so. enjoying this? <laughs> Ah! Oh! Oh no! Oh! Ooh. Wow! Whoa! Pro Phantom Hourglass. Pew 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 pew. Bye bye bye. Bye bye. So is there like um, a Bluetooth camera <laughs> attached to that or something so we can see what we're doing? <laughs> right. You got the sun key. This key is the same shape as the sun. Z is the key. Rhyme the grass that you saw. It also has a weird, creepy face on it. <laughs> Ooh, strange looking key you got there. It's shaped like the sun, but what's that supposed to mean, kid? Kid? It goes to a door with the sun on it, you kid piece of shit. Kid rock! <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it a bummer that, like, we. Growing up, like when I was in middle school, I would hear Kid Rock on the radio. Mm -hmm. And even then, I was like, oof, my goof. Mm -hmm. This is not awesome. <laughs> and now he's in the fucking White House. Say what? Oh, did you not see the pictures of like Trump with fucking Kid Rock in the White House? No. It's depressing. Yeah. Because like Donald Trump. Fear is embarrassing enough. Right. But, like, Kid Rock in the White House is, like, this isn't what George Washington wanted. Mad Max is on the way. <laughs> right. <laughs> and, and Donald Trump might be um, that guy for... Uh, um, Oh, what was his name in the new Mad Max movie? Yeah, I can't remember. The gas mask and the, the gas monster mask truck. The gas mask and the long hair that was blonde and obviously fake. Yeah, and... I can't remember his name, man. Oh, it was Donald Trump. Yeah, right. I think that's actually... <laughs> I think that might have been, like, the director is a time traveler. Mm -hmm. And he saw where the world was going. <laughs> and then came back and was like, that motherfucker's better fucking... Prepare yourselves, <laughs> yeah. because some shit's gonna go down. He took that project as seriously as Passion of the Christ. <laughs> <laughs> this will save the world. <laughs> but then he just realized he he did a, a, a self fulfilling <laughs> prophecy by showing us oh, no, where the world would go. <laughs> now all of these children are just gonna fucking eat spray paint. <laughs> <laughs> and Kid Rock's going to the fucking White House! <laughs> oh. Wow. It was, was a great movie. <laughs> I remember the first time I saw a Mad Max film. I woke up. Felt sick. Walked downstairs out of my room. My dad was in the kitchen at the bar, feet up on the table, watching that 10 inch TV. Did we have Cinemax? Of course we did. It was the 90s. He was watching The Road Warrior. He said, Dad, what are you watching? He said, Get back to bed. So I did. <laughs> 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 like, 
Like, we're in the in-between, oh which is already an inside joke. Yeah. And then that is an inside joke within an inside joke. And then within another inside joke. Like, there are too many layers to this. <laughs> yeah, if if you came in on this episode to this series... <laughs> Super sorry. <laughs> go, go, just take a little trip <laughs> back in time. Watch when your one. dad was watching The Road Warrior. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> Do we need to wrap it up there? Uh, well, I was just going to say, I've actually never seen the old Mad Max movies. Oh, really? Yeah, I've never watched it. I just watched the new one, and I loved it. The new one's it. awesome. Yeah. It's a fucking two-hour chase scene. Yeah. It's, it's beautiful, fucking too. amazing. It's just gorgeous to look at. Like, yeah. I'm slowly it's fucking... slipping in a linebacker, getting pumped up about <laughs> Max. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. I, I thought it was fucking awesome. It yeah. should have won more awards than it did. Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely yeah. should have. Like, cinematography, it was just fucking gorgeous. That entire year, like, it should have won. Mm-hmm. Um, Tom Hardy as... Oh. Did you ever... Oh, wait, you, since you've never seen um, the old Road Warrior films, mm-hmm. it doesn't make any sense to you. Um, so, there's this kid in one of the films and a lot of people there's a theory that he assumed Max's name is new is is like the new Mad Max oh that's cool uh, he was the feral kid in this film and he grew up idolizing this guy and so assumed his name to carry on the legacy (laughs) which I think is a really cool theory yeah that's awesome yeah I I I definitely want to go back and watch those because I know they're not, I know they're not cinematic masterpieces, right? But I don't know. They're fun as shit. Dude. Part of film history. They're fun as shit. Yeah. It's like, because <clears throat> I kind of view films now. As I get older, I like to have fun mm-hmm. more than like. It'd be awesome. Like, like, like yeah, like yeah. this critically acclaimed bullshit. Like when I was in college, yeah, I watched Godard. Fucking who gives a shit? Right. Those films are not fun <laughs> and I get made fun of a lot for this but Indiana Jones and the Crystal Skull is a fun fucking movie <laughs> I don't give a fuck I will defend that to my dying day that movie was fun and I love it another movie I've never seen oh my god <laughs> you'll hate it just like every other person on the planet except for me right and <laughs> yeah, that's it. I think I'm the only person that likes it. Not even fucking... I don't even think Steven Spielberg liked it. <laughs> I don't even think George Lucas liked it. <laughs> and he did episode one. <laughs> but I, I, I think it's such a fun film. It's just dumb and silly. I only had one uh, like complaint about that movie. So Kate Blanchett is the main villain. Mm. And when she dies, obviously, like in all the Indiana Jones movies, they melt or explode or anything like that. Sure. They did it in CGI. Oh. And I was like, fuck you. Yeah. Like, let's get some wax. Let's do some <clears throat> sped up, like, shit is melting. Like, I, I need a face to melt. I don't need CGI flames coming out of your eyes and then your head explodes. No, fuck you. Mm. I want wax. Yeah, yeah. I want stupid violence. I didn't ask for Shia LaBeouf swinging through vines like Tarzan, but I loved it. (laughs) And guess who likes that moment? Me and Shia LaBeouf! (laughs) Fucking everybody hates that movie. But anyway, Mad Max. (laughs) It was a good film. (laughs) Beyond Thunderdome uh, brought Donna Summer into it and kind of went off the tracks. Just like Zelda. Spirit tracks. <laughs> <laughs> Just end this episode. See you in the next episode. <laughs> <laughs>